Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good Thursday. Today I thought I would share doing a purification bath salt. So before we get started, I just want to show you what I'm going to be using in the salt. Here I've got, let's see, six cups of um, Epsom salts. One cup of um, baking soda. I'm going to be using this black lava salt for this. So you can see it's perfectly safe. It's suitable for food and cosmetic use. I'm also going to be using bay leaves, lavender, a little bit of chamomile. Oops. Uh, let's see, some hyssop and some blue vervain. <clears throat> I'm also going to be adding some oils, but I haven't pulled those out yet. I'm going to get a little further along in the process and then I will um, come back. So thank you for watching. I'll be right back. Okay, what we have so far is I've mixed in the Epsom salts, the black salt, and the baking soda. I have about a quarter cup of the blue vervain, a cup of the hyssop, uh, probably over a cup, I'm not sure, I didn't exactly measure it, might be just a little over a cup of um, lavender. Same with chamomile. I'm going to take this to this little mortar and pestle. And then in here I have about three, you know, hands worth of bay leaves that I'm going to do in this bigger mortar and pestle. Um, this one has a, in case anybody's curious, this has a much rougher texture. So it's better for things like this and the chamomile breaks up real easily so it can just go in this little marble one. Okay, I'm going to spend some time with my mortar and pestle here and here and get these all broken up and add them in here and then I'll bring you back and show you the oils I'm going to use and then we'll be done. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, I have all these lovely herbs added in here and it smells really good and the only thing left to do is add my oils and put this in the big jar I have for my bath salts. The um, oils I've decided to add are rosemary and a little bit of um, the sandalwood. One thing I wanted to mention is, you know, these are purification bath salts, but when we're purifying, we're not only purifying ourselves, we're also banishing. We're banishing the impure things, right? And so that makes me think of the law of polarity. And I'm going to put a couple of um, links to two good videos I'm thinking about right now that could relate to this. During the waning phase of the moon, we think about doing more um, banishing and things like that. Um, so what I want everybody to consider is understanding the law of polarity and that when we banish we should also be invoking and um, the law of polarity well I'll, I'm just going to post the links that I can think of to the videos down below and um, you could also just look it up if you're interested if you're curious about that I know a couple of friends of mine <clears throat> that I've made through YouTube are going through some trying times right now and they could use some blessings in their life and I think people hesitate 
to do things like prosperity spells and whatnot during the waning moon. But the waning moon is good for a lot of things. And not just what people would consider dark magic or left hand magic or whatever. Um, if you think about it, I'm sure you'll come up with some ideas of your own that you can do. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put the oils in here and then I'm going to put them in the jar and I'll show you what the finished product looks like and then I'll end this video. Okay, be right back. Alright, we have the finished product here. Uh, let's see if you can see it. I used my tiger's eye. I uh, worked with, I hate to say used. I worked with my tiger's eye pendulum to charge this up and the pendulum seemed very happy with it, seemed to prove and put a lot of energy into it and I thank you for watching and I hope this finds you having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Many blessings.